Hello everybody, this is Cubastic. I have an extremely unusual video today, the first of its kind on my channel, because I have a 3D printer on my desk. This device here is capable of printing volumetric objects out of plastic. Today I'm going to tell you about my new hobby, 3D printing. I'll tell you about this device, what it can do and what I already have printed with it. I'm going to share my plans with you, what things I'm going to create using this printer, to show you them to you later. It's very exciting, I'm sure you'll enjoy it, so let's get to it! So, let's look at it closer. This is the 3D printer 2 Trees Sapphire S model. It is a cheap Chinese 3D printer, it has lots of drawbacks, but nevertheless it's doing its job. Here you can see a metal frame that is the main part of printer. This surface here is a special table. It is a canvas for printing. It's covered with glass, an ordinary glass, the plastic sticks to it very well. This is a printing head that can run all over the printing area. And actually the heated plastic comes out of it under high pressure. This printing technology is called plastic layering. The line of plastic lays here this way. And then the printer creates 3D objects by adding layer upon layer of plastic. You will see everything today, by the way, let's turn it on to print something. So, here we go! It's starting to warm up, the extruder will reach the temperature of 200 degrees to make plastic melt. And the table needs to reach 60 degrees and then the surface will be enough warm, so the plastic will easily stick to it. Now let's choose the plastic itself. The printing material is this kind of plastic, a thin thread of plastic wrapped on a huge coil. I chose the yellow one. Does anyone like yellow? Write in the comments what your favorite color is. We put the coil right here on a special lever. And from there, this thread enters a special feeding mechanism, right here. And through this wire it goes into the printing head. Let's take a look at the process. As you can see, the plastic is coming right here. It has to come out hot from this little heating element here. Here it is, the plastic. By the way, the hole from which it comes out is smaller than a half a millimeter, it is a 0.4 millimeter. So the thread is super thin and the printing quality is excellent. As you can see it's already warm, it's 215 degrees here and here it's almost 60. Let's pick the model we are going to print, this one. So I just ran a print. First of all, the printer is moving back to default position, it went to the left corner, the table is raised and now the printing will begin. Just watch this process attentively, it is breathtaking. Here comes the first layer. The screen displays the printing process, canvas temperature, the printing head temperature, time spent, printing rate and the height of the table. The height of the table now is 0.2 mm. It is 200 microns, it's a quite low, so the quality must be very good. So, we have to wait. Printing can take 6 to 10 hours. I didn't show you what I was printing, let it be a surprise. You will see the result only at the end of the video, so I think you need to watch this video through. 
And now the most interesting part, I want to show you the models I've already printed. Just believe me, they are awesome. I'm going to start with the smallest details and models I have. For example, here is this kitten. It is the first detail I printed out just to see if the printer was working fine or not. And it turned out that it works very well. Small details such as nose, eyes and whiskers were printed well. But I didn't take attention to the fact that some parts couldn't be printed that easy, like this one here, the tail. Because there is a situation here, a high angle, so it was hard for the printer to print it in the air. So there are some flaws, but nevertheless as for the first time the model turned out to be cool and good enough. Ok, I figured out my printer was working, and then I decided to look at its printing quality and to understand how it deals with troubles. That's why I printed this boat. Four times. Why did I print so many of them? Because this is a test model for any 3D printer, because its construction includes the basic problems that 3D printers usually face with, like printing curved and uh, flat planes at the same time, printing vertical and horizontal lines, the holes both in the lateral and in the upper planes, both round and square at the same time, also, the hardest part here is to print uh, these hinged elements, like windows. Because uh, printing a large circular hole and a large square hole is very difficult. You have to choose the right settings, the right temperature and it's so boring to configure the printer mechanics to gain such a quality. As you can see, I did it. It was difficult enough to configure a lot of parameters in the settings to make everything work right. Just take a look at the other ships I've been printing, because as soon as I set up the wrong parameters, there were ripples on the surfaces and uh, a lot of this uh, web-shaped uh, plastic like this. All that plastic makes the model look bad, and this one helped me to understand that my printer's air pumps weren't that good. And these two boats here were printed pretty well. I was learning to write the correct code for the model, so the printer could understand how to print it as good as possible. By the way, every ship has a little easter egg on it, there is something written on the bottom. It's probably an author's autograph. He can't even realize I'd print so many models of this ship, and it won't be the last one, I'll print more in the nearest future. We are moving forward, we have learned how to print complicated details. And what about the quality? What quality of printing can we achieve with our 3D printer? I printed out the following two details to understand this. The print quality depends on the height of each layer. The smaller the layer we print, the better the quality is. The layer height of this fax is 0.2 mm, equals 200 microns. It's a very small height, so the printer needs to print 5 layers to increase the height of the model by 1 mm. What about this duck here? The print quality of this model is 100 microns, which means that here each layer is twice as thin. 10 layers equal 1 mm of the model. Imagine how many layers do we have here if the height of the model is about 8 cm. That's how I decided to compare the quality of the printing itself. Just look with your eyes and make sure the model of the dog looks much better than the fox. It is even so hard to see the layers here. But the naked eye can see them either on this model. So I don't see the point of spending twice as much time on this quality yet. It makes sense only for some specific models and parts. The difficulty of printing these models was that there was a rather large hanging detail, and the printer had to print it in the air. However, it managed to do it with minimal errors. This side was printed perfectly. We have the same problem with the dock. Down here there are slight mistakes under its face, because there was also a big hanging detail. There was also another big problem. When the printer started printing the model, there were three different details. First leg, second leg and torso. And only later, as the height became bigger, they became one. And this is where the printer surprised me. It took the duck's hind legs 
off the table. There was no point in printing a legless dog, so I aborted it. But now we can see the insides of the detail. It is not fully stoked, so we can save the material. But it is also not empty, so it's durable. You can see how it's filled. It looks like the honeycomb in a beehive that make our piece strong and light. At the same time, since the model isn't solid, we saved material. I hope you realized that 3D printing is not that easy. You're going to like the next model. It is so special, because it's movable. This octopus has flexible tentacles, and they are not just flexible, but fully movable. You can spin it any way you want, and it is completely movable. But you probably thought I printed these tentacles separately and then I attached them to the body. No, I didn't. The model is designed to be printed a wall in one take. All these tentacles are parts of the same detail. This model shows us that it's possible to model even movable elements and print them as well. And that's amazing! We have the same thing with this detail, it's carbine. This is a great example of how you can print anything on a 3D printer, even a fully functional mechanism. Because nothing but plastic had been used to create this carbine. There are no extra springs or bolts. Everything is designed so great that only flexibility of the plastic itself and the design features make this carbine work as it should and we get a real good carbon that we can use. So you don't have to go to the store to buy a carbon if you need it, you can just print it out. Of course, it won't take a human's weight, but it's still a working carbon. Great! I also have... I have this Oreo, a huge Oreo, which I printed out for my girlfriend. But it's not just a cookie. In addition to the fact that it's a huge cookie, the details of which have been printed out quite smooth, it's also a jewelry box. It twists off in two. This is the lid and this is the part in which you can put something. Guys, it's amazing detail. It consists of four parts, two black covers and uh, two white pieces of the jewelry box. And the carvings here have been printed so well, they fit perfectly. That's the way it is. And the best part is my girlfriend uses this jewelry box. And I didn't have to buy it, I just printed it out. That's cool. Oreo? Definitely like. A lot of people think that 3D printing is easy, you just need to fill the plastic, push the button and your model is done. In fact, it's not true. All these models I showed you were just training before printing really cool models that I can make with my 3D printer. I will begin with this one. It's a lion. Just look at the quality. A gorgeous mane with a very large number of small details printed out really cool. When I touch the body of a lion with my fingers, I can even feel its ribs, which means the model is made really good. Maybe it was a 3D scan of a real lion. And that is... That is really cool! I'm so excited that we can print almost everything. Real moving details, models of some animals, buildings, scientific manuals for the school lessons, for example, human organs. Nowadays people are already printing entire houses, buildings, vehicles and many, many other things. And it's so great! But I can't do it yet, I'm uh, just training and print models like this. The next model is my favorite. It's a Deadpool. A huge red Deadpool with a lot of details. This bust was printed in uh, this position. Its height is uh, 17 cm. Printing quality uh, height of uh, one layer equals uh, 150 microns. It's quite a good quality. As you can see, every detail has been printed out in such resolution. 
We can see the features on his face, the creases on his suit, we can see the scratches on the katana, all the clothes, the bullet holes, this buckle, and even the ace of spades he carries in his sleeve. A stunning quality. This model has been printing for 28 hours. While printing a Deadpool, I wanted to check how long and how good a 3D printer can print one model. But I didn't stop there, because I also have a giant Darth Vader here. I will move my camera back, so you can see my Vader well. Because it's really huge. Just look and compare it to the Deadpool. By the way, a little logical riddle for you guys. Deadpool was printed using almost full height of the printing zone. So the printer cannot print higher objects, it has a limit. How did I print the Darth Vader so tall? Those who have seen stories on my Instagram know that it consists of two parts, the coaster and standalone bust. But even disassembled, the bust is taller than the Deadpool. The trick is, it wasn't exactly standing on the canvas. It was laying there like this, half-sided, lying on the floor. And then it's about the height of the Deadpool. Look at the details and just imagine. What else is possible to print with this 3D printer? This can be fully mobile models and insanely high quality details and fully functional, such as puzzles or a fully functional Rubik's Cube. We will speak about it a little bit later. Do you realize that possibilities of 3D printing are endless? It's just a beginning. This is an introduction for you and first steps for me in my insanely cool hobby, because we can create everything. Now I want to ask you something. Please, write in the comments what do you think about this video, about my new hobby, about the models I printed out, what else would you like to see on my channel, what would you like me to print. Your support is so, so necessary for me now, because now I have a new hobby, a unique, a cool hobby that I want to share with you and do interesting things which uh, appear in my head. I want to do physical things like puzzles or a fully functional Rubik's Cube. Let's do this! When this video gets 100,000 likes, I'll start designing a fully functional Rubik's Cube, which I will print out with my 3D printer. I think I'll be able even to speed solve them. That is mind-blowing! It's just a small part of what's possible to do with this device. Thank you so much for your attention, for the watching and your comments. Subscribe to my channel, because the next time it will be even better. In the next video about 3D printing I'm going to create a real puzzle and try to solve it. Now, for those of you who have watched the video till the end, I'll show you what we have printed out there. In fact, it won't finish soon, only 16% is printed and it will take about 7 hours to print. I'll film it and show you now, you have time to subscribe. And so, this is the detail that we have. The model was printing for 11 and a half hours. Looks pretty good, but there is a slight flow. I broke off two small, I hope not very important details when I was taking the model off the canvas. I hope everything's going to be okay and that 11 hour printing wasn't a complete loss. That's the thing about 3D printing. It's not that simple, because it's always going to be some mess or problem, but we will struggle to deal with them. Let's see if this model works. Damn! 
cool. The amazing thing is it all was printed like this one little brick, a rectangular, and in the end we'll get a fully functional model. If you enjoyed this video, like it and subscribe to the channel. This was Cubastic, see you very soon, because we are on the internet. Bye.